With over 30% of its total area made up of water, they don't call Rhode Island the ocean state for nothing. As to islands, Aquidneck Island, also known as Rhode Island, is the largest island making up the ocean state of Rhode Island, which could all sound kind of confusing, so this is simple. Narragansett Bay, land, and the three main towns that make up this island. From north to south, the Quidnick's three main towns are Portsmouth, Middletown, and Newport. Our first stop, Portsmouth, where I was intrigued to try something unique and new, riding the rails under my own power. Describe it, you know, say it's this crazy vehicle that you pedal along the railroad tracks and, and you've lost them. But as soon as they see a picture, they get it in a second. Native Australians and transplanted New Yorkers Alex Catchpool and his wife, Mary Joy Liu, are the creators of Rail Explorers. The vehicle itself was first invented and popularized in South Korea. The couple spent three years working on bringing it here, which they did first in the Adirondacks and now in Rhode Island on a spur of the Newport and Narragansett Bay Railroad. There's been homemade versions of these type of vehicles around for a very long time. But this is really the first time a beautifully engineered, uh, right. fun to ride, great to look at. It's very bicycle-like. Really, anyone can do it. We're on 450 pounds of steel, and yet it's effortless pedaling. It is. It's also an experience pedaling along train tracks that is entirely new for most of us. And usually on a train, you're looking through a window, whereas here on one of these, you're in it. And you're really a part of the environment. It's really sensory. It's a six-mile tour along Narragansett Bay, water views, and a feeling of seeing something familiar, but in a new way. We go through some areas of the island that even longtime locals have never seen, uh, have never accessed in this way. The vehicles can be linked up for families and can be accessed for all abilities, too. Families who have members in wheelchairs are able to come here and there is no difference in experience, and we're passionate about that. The response so far in Rhode Island has been enthusiastic, which is no surprise. If I could have, I might have kept going all day. You know, you can smell the ocean, you can hear the waves crashing. It's really a spectacular way to do it. Further south in Newport on a cool spring night, most of the boats were still wrapped up, but Plenty of visitors eager to get a jump on summer were out and about. Of course, people after they've eaten in Newport, they want to take a short walk to walk off what they've done. It's a beautiful place to do it. That would be me, and that would be very true of this special place. Located just a few miles from Newport in Middletown, Rhode Island, it's Satuous Point National Wildlife Refuge, surely one of Aquidneck Island's hidden gems. We protect and preserve wildlife for future generations. We're very light recreation oriented, so uh, we just try and interpret what we're doing here, what the biologists are doing preserving the wildlife. The refuge covers 224 acres of a major migratory route that includes the colorful harlequin duck and in winter, the snowy owl. Most popular here year round are the three miles of walking trails that wind by the water, crashing surf, and expansive fields but what's most impressive here is what isn't here anymore. The point had former lives as a farm, shooting range, and racetrack. It shed all that and became a refuge less than 50 years ago. Boy, what a second life, huh? Yes, especially for everybody on the island or visiting the island, they get to come to a place like this and see this.